Hi, this is Graham Moen, and today we're going to talk about Evernote. It's a note using tool and a nice introduction to it, and I think that we can uh, get a little bit more insight into it. So, as it describes, Evernote is part of an all inclusive workspace. And if you see this logo right here, this is the Evernote logo. If you down, you can download it online using the link, which I can show you later in the presentation. But also, if you're going into the Apple Store, if you're a Mac user, or if the Android Android Market, if you're an Android user, if you need to find this uh, application to use it, this is the app. This is the logo you can find. So, what exactly is Evernote? Evernote is a website that uh, actually allows you to connect to the online cloud, similarly to um, to Dropbox. Now, Evernote. Doesn't while the name might just sound like it takes notes, it also stores any type of media file you want, such as a writing file, a video file, an audio file, and so forth. And it also allows the user to access these files saved to Evernote from any computer, which creates easier sharing. And uh, although that also depends on the membership, which I'll, I can tell you about later as well. Now. The system requirements for Evernote um, are pretty pretty easy to follow. If you're a Windows user, uh, you have to have a computer that at least runs Windows XP. But nowadays, a lot of those computers uh, it would really really slows down the program. So preferably, they want you to look for Windows Vista, and even more preferably, they would rather you do Windows 7 or 8, the most updated versions of Windows software. And uh, Mac users, I know it's a little bit difficult to find the confusion between all the different OS X numbers. There's a lot of uh, confusion between that. So you have to have a computer, if it says it runs 10.5.8, uh, that's the one you'd be looking for. So you have to have at least the operating system called Leopard, which is a couple uh, software updates behind. And then for Android users, if you're using it on your for the market, uh, you have to have at least a 1.6 on your Android software. It goes up to 2.0, but if it's below 2.0, you might have to download the Google Maps app and a couple of applications in order to be able to, for them to realize where your location is and being able to send and sync uh, software that way. So as you can see, the uh, main website for Evernote is pretty self-explanatory. All you do is go to evernote.com and then it will take you to, through a process of signing up for the website and uh, asking you about different memberships. The co and the cost of those memberships, uh, to start off, there's a free version. However, it's more limited and we'll go into the pros and cons of that after uh, a little bit later in the presentation. So when you're just starting off, there's just a free version that you're automatically put into. It's pretty limited. So if you need, for some reason, need to be able to go to a higher version, need to be able to share things, do a little bit different, the only way you can share and do a few more of those other features is if you get the paid version, which you can subscribe to either monthly or yearly. It's $5 a month, which would take you up to $60 a year, so it's about $45 a year, if, uh, or $45 a year instead if you're trying to save some money and you're going to be using this tool often enough and you're going to be sending bigger presentations because uh, the cost also helps with much more uh, storage space in the free version which is only 60 megabytes of space as you can see and to the pros and cons uh, the pros of it the first thing that I can really say as a pro for it is the web clipping uh, it's actually an add-on that's available for a lot of browsers and it allows you to like take little uh, things that you find on websites, like little clips of a video or little things from a story, and you can save them in your Evernote notes. Uh, rather than having to write it down on the website and uh, saving it in the notes, so that makes it a lot easier just to be able to splice it into the actual software itself. And another thing that uh, a lot of business people use it for storing their business cards, because while business cards, people might think business cards are becoming out of date, they're actually a lot being used quite often and in here you can store them much easier and it's very difficult to keep track of several paper versions of it so instead you can just have businesses send you several different types of it and then just send it and put it onto your uh, website as well. Now the cons of it, sorry, uh, the cons of this 
thing, unfortunately, is that I was talking about earlier the difference between a free membership and a premium membership. A premium membership is means you're going to have to pay five bucks a month or forty-five dollars a year to use this software. So if you are only trying to use this briefly to put a lot of so a lot of different papers, some audio files on it, it's going to be a challenge for you because again, as I stated earlier, this only goes up to sixty megabytes of space with uh, the free version. But if you get a premium version, it allows for much much more. Uh, speed and you can also put more different types of videos, HD videos and things like that. So if you're going to end up so and it's not good for large documents. So if you're trying to put an audio file or a video a long video clip from YouTube onto your Evernote thing to save it, it's going to be a lot more challenging uh especially without the premium membership. Right here uh is an Evernote video. Um I'm not going to show it to you because it's about 12 minutes long. But throughout the entire presentation, uh, the user on here decide, is taking you through step-by-step -step process of using things such as a new note and how to add and put different things from photo files and using the different icons, which I'm also going to show you and how to attach different types of files. And using for, for the Evernote discussion, um, The first thing I'm going to talk about is how you would connect an audio file. Um, when you look on the screen next to the plus sign and all of that for adding attachments, you can attach just about anything on here. And you can also take snapshots and then attach them there using either the face front camera of a Mac or using the uh, webcam put on your Windows PC. So the audio file you're going to want to find is going to be in the corner next to the new notes and it's gonna be just a little microphone thing so it's gonna want you to attach audio so if you need to attach anything that you would use with the Mac's built-in microphone such as a presentation like this you would put the click on audio and then you would just find the audio file in your files and just submit it there and it would go right it would load right in there snapshot you can also use the Mac's face front and camera if you're using a Mac uh, for the, obviously for the Windows a webcam and for the snapshot, it allows you to take pictures, and then you can also save those on your file and then put them into your Evernote as well. And then finally, if you want to find the little paper clip next to the snapshot and audio, that's going to be the file. That's where you would use your paper, find your paper documents, your papers, your PowerPoint presentations, your Excel files, things like that. And that's really uh, the basics and the beginning of Evernote. And Evernote is a really good tool to use, if, especially if you're somebody, a college student that takes notes constantly and is always sharing files with different people. I would certainly recommend the, uh, I would recommend the premium version. It's, it is $5 a month, which isn't that bad, think, considering that you'd be using it for schoolwork and for other business things later down the road. So overall, in conclusion, uh, Evernote is a really good tool to use. And I would recommend that anyone at least download the free version and try to experience it for themselves. Thank you.